Welcome to the demonstration on configuring dual mode ports on Ruckus ICX switches. This image shows a common scenario in many office buildings all over the world uh, where PCs are connected through IP telephones uh, back into a switch to provide connectivity for both the phone and the PC. Uh, this is a very common deployment where uh, the PC traffic will pass through the phone untagged in a particular VLAN, in the case of the example here VLAN 10, and an IP phone which is capable of performing tagging will tag its traffic on that link into the switch uh, with both of these devices essentially sharing the same cable and the same port into the switch. So the switch has to support untagged frames from the PC and tagged frames from the phone and dual mode ports are a way that we're capable of doing that on the ICX switch. So let's get into a switch and show how that works. So here I have an ICX 7250. We're going to connect a, a phone and a PC. The PC connected directly into the phone and the phone connected directly into the switch. Um, it's going to be on port 111 here for our example. But let's, let's walk through the configuration. So first thing we're going to configure is we're going to configure a couple of VLANs. So I'm going to create VLAN 20. Uh, it's our voice VLAN. You don't have to give it a name, but uh, we're doing that here just for the purposes of the uh, demonstration. So we'll go ahead and tag our port. So we'll tag 111. Uh, that port is officially tagged as a member of VLAN 20. So now we'll create VLAN 10. And this is our data VLAN for the PC. Um, so we got VLAN 10, and now we want to have tagged and untagged traffic. So tagged for VLAN 20, because the phone's going to send tagged traffic, and untagged for VLAN 10. So we'll go untag Ethernet 1 slash 1 slash 1. Well, unfortunately, you can't do this. Uh, you can't have a tagged port and an untagged port configured on the same physical interface. The message here says it's not members of the default VLAN. This is true because it's in VLAN 20, um, but that's not the, the key problem here. The key problem here is we can't have two uh, different tagging types on the same interface. So what we'll do is we'll actually go in and we'll tag this port in VLAN 10. So so we'll tag 111. Now both VLANs are tagged on the port. Okay, so this is where it gets important. So now what we need to do is we need to get into the interface and we're going to instruct the interface that on a particular VLAN we are going to accept untagged frames. So let's do that. So Ethernet 111, uh, we're in the interface and this is where we use the dual mode port command. So from here, we can put in a VLAN, or we can just hit return. If we just press return, uh, it'll be the default VLAN, whatever the default VLAN is. And by default, the default VLAN is VLAN 1. So uh, this switch is pretty much a default. If we just type dual mode and hit return, uh, any traffic that comes into the port untagged would be assigned and put into VLAN 1. And anything of VLAN 1 traffic going out of the port will have the tag stripped off before being sent out to the phone. So we want to have VLAN 10 as our dual mode VLAN. So what this says again to us is that any traffic coming into the switch port untagged is going to be placed into VLAN 10 and any VLAN 10 traffic coming out of the switch will come out untagged. So if we do a show interface We can see in the output here that uh, our port 111 is a member of two VLANs and it's in dual mode in VLAN 10, saying that VLAN 10 is the untagged VLAN that this port is a member of. So that's how we configure dual mode on a Ruckus ICX switch. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hope you come back to watch more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.